1865 and early 1866, these new governments in the South, all white governments created by Andrew Johnson, you know, kind of have to deal with the situation of the former slaves. What is their status going to be? What rights are they going to have? And so they pass these laws to regulate the conditions of the former slaves. So the black codes are really an attempt to use the power of the government to get the plantation system going again. Not as slave labor, that's gone, but as forced labor, where blacks would be paid some minimal wage, but they would have no alternative but to go to work for white employers. They don't go into effect. In fact, in early 1866, Congress passes the Civil Rights Law, which actually says that all laws must apply equally to all citizens. And that abrogates all these black codes, because they're only for blacks. But they're important as a sign of what the white South has in mind for blacks, unless the federal government comes in and protects them. Now, they give them some rights. They're no longer slaves. They can't be bought and sold. Their marriages are now going to be legally recognized, as they weren't under slavery. They can own property in some states. Actually, Mississippi barred them from owning land. But that's it. They had no right to vote. They had no right to serve on juries. They had no right to testify in court in cases involving white people. They could not own guns the way white people could. And most importantly, they had to go to work for white people. They had to sign year-long labor contracts with a white employer. Otherwise, they would be called vagrants, arrested, fined. And if they couldn't pay the fine, they'd be auctioned off to some white person who could pay the fine. So in other words, a black guy would land working for himself, that's illegal. You've got to work for a white employer. He'd be arrested as a vagrant and sold to a white employer, basically. They couldn't go to work for themselves. They couldn't follow a trade, something like that. That's why Mississippi barred them from even owning land, so that they had no alternative but to work for white planters. So the black codes are a very, very restrictive idea of what freedom really would mean for these former slaves.